Let's examine several common error codes of LG's Multi-V systems. Communication related error between indoor unit and outdoor unit. A communication error between the indoor unit and outdoor unit appears at CH05 and CH53 for Multi-V. CH05 and CH53 are similar errors, but the method of troubleshooting is different. When the outdoor unit sends a signal to the indoor unit, and if the indoor unit does not receive the signal, a CH05 error will occur. When the indoor unit sends a signal to the outdoor unit, and the outdoor unit does not receive the signal, a CH53 error will occur. When a CH05 error occurs, we must first check the indoor unit main disconnect power. Check to see if the switch is on. Then check if line side power and load side power are normal. First check the line side voltage between phases. Next, measure the load side voltage between phases. Voltage between phases should not vary by more than 2%. If there is no problem found after the disconnect is checked, move to the outdoor unit and check the power supply status of the outdoor unit. On 208 to 230 volt equipment, the line voltage measured on L1, L2, and L3 should be 208 to 230 volts plus or minus 10%. And for 460 volt equipment, the voltage measured on L1, L2, and L3 should be 460 volts, plus or minus 10%. If the voltage is found to be outside of these tolerances, please contact a licensed electrician for further investigation. If the line power voltage readings are normal, the next step is to measure the output voltage of the noise filter. To test the noise filter, first measure the output voltage on terminals R2, S2, and T2. The output voltage should measure 208, to 230 volts plus or minus 10 percent and for 460 volt equipment the output voltage should measure 460 volts plus or minus 10 percent if the output voltage readings are outside of this range replace the noise filter if the output voltage of the noise filter is normal the next step is to check the main PCB communication signal the normal voltage value for the communication signal should vary from minus 9 volts DC to plus 9 volts DC. If there is no control signal to the indoor units, check for line power feeding the main PCB. If there is no power feeding the main PCB, inspect the filter PCB. If the incoming voltage is verified and there is no control signal, check the main PCB fuse. If the fuse tests good, replace the main PCB. If the communication signal of the outdoor unit is normal, check the communication line between the outdoor unit and the indoor unit. If the communication line between outdoor unit and indoor unit is normal, check indoor unit communication side. During standard operation, it is normal for the communication side voltage to vary from minus 9 volts DC to plus 9 volts DC. If the communication signal is correct at the indoor unit, check LED of indoor unit communication PCB. When the overall inspection is over, move to the outdoor unit to start auto address work. When auto address work is completed, verify LGMV data to check normal operation. If a CH53 error occurs, make sure to check the indoor unit disconnect on-off status. Also check if indoor unit disconnect output voltage is 208 to 230 volts plus or minus 10%. If the supply power is not within this range, contact a licensed electrician to investigate further. If the power at the disconnect is normal, check the indoor unit terminal connector power and communication. If the terminal connector power and communication signal are normal, check to see if the indoor unit PCB power supply is okay. 
and whether indoor unit PCB operates normally. If the indoor unit PCB is normal, move to the outdoor unit and proceed with auto address work. When the auto address work is completed, check LGMV data for normal operation. Communication related error between outdoor units. CH-104 is an error which occurs between outdoor units. This error may be caused by a power or communication line failure or if the outdoor unit main PCB fails. The most common cause of a CH-104 error is failure of the main PCB. If the main PCB in the master is found to be bad, it is advisable to replace the main PCB of the slave too. First, check for proper power supply to the outdoor unit. The measurements of voltage between phases are as follows. For 208 to 230 volt units, L1 to L2, L1 to L3, and L2 to L3. Reading should be 208 to 230 volts plus or minus 10%. And for 460 volt equipment, L1 to L2, L1 to L3, and L2 to L3 readings should be 460 volts plus or minus 10%. If there is no problem with the outdoor unit power, test the main PCB. First, check the communication signal to the indoor units. The normal voltage value for the communication signal should vary from minus 9 volts DC to plus 9 volts DC. If there is no communication signal to the indoor units, check for line voltage feeding the main PCB. If there is no incoming power to the main PCB, inspect the filter PCB. If the incoming voltage is verified and there is no control signal, check the main PCB fuse. If the fuse tests good, replace the main PCB. If the signal is normal, check the sub-PCB dip switches. If there is no problem with the dip switch settings, check the communication signal between outdoor units. The normal voltage value for the communication signal between outdoor units should vary from minus 9 volts DC to plus 9 volts DC. If there is no signal, test the main PCB. If there is still no signal, replace the main PCB. Compressor related failure error. CH21 is an error related to the inverter compressor and there are related errors of 22, 26, and 29. A CH21 error code occurs when there is a problem of voltage or current related to the inverter compressor IPM module. First, check power at the disconnect when CH21 occurs. Next, check outdoor unit power supply status. Check the noise filter output voltage. If there is no problem with the noise filter, disconnect power and check the compressor terminals for proper tightness. Next, Measure the resistance of the compressor windings. Under normal operation, the compressor resistance should read as follows. U to V, 0.256 ohms. V to W, 0.256 ohms. W to U, 0.256 ohms. These readings should be within 7% 7 at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. If there is no problem with resistance, measure inverter compressor insulation by testing the windings to ground. Next, check the outdoor unit IPM PCB and bridge diode. First, shut the power off to the outdoor unit at the disconnect. Remove the wires from the bridge diode and perform diode bridge test. Next, test the inverter IPM. The reading should be as follows.
If the IPM is found to have failed, be sure to use heat conductive paste and secure the IPM module firmly to the heat sink. Finally, check the inverter PCB LEDs. The inverter PCB LEDs will blink as follows. Yellow LEDs, main PCB and fan PCB communication when flashing. Red LED, flashes when an error occurs represents 10's place. Green LED, flashes when an error occurs represents 1's place. Example, red LED 3 flashes, green LED 4 flashes equals CH34. Compressor related failure error. CH23 is an error that relates to the failure of inverter DC link charging. Check also the bridge diode and reactor components. Check disconnect power initially when CH23 occurs. Check the outdoor unit input voltage. Measure the noise filter output voltage. Next, check the outdoor unit IPM PCB and bridge diode. Finally, check inverter PCB LEDs. The inverter PCB LEDs blink as follows. Yellow LEDs, main PCB and fan PCB communication when flashing. Red LED, flashes when error occurs represents 10's place. Green LED, flashes when error occurs represents 1's place. Example, red LED 3 flashes, green LED 4 flashes equals CH34.
system related error. CH32 error occurs when the discharge temperature of the inverter compressor exceeds 240 degrees Fahrenheit. This error may occur if there is insufficient oil in the compressor or possibly a low refrigerant charge. CH34 error is excessive rise of high pressure. CH34 is an error that usually occurs in between seasons and it occurs when one room is calling for heating when all the others are calling for cooling. CH34 may also be caused by clogged indoor air filters. CH35 error is an error that occurs when the refrigerant pressure is very low or when the low pressure sensor is defective. Compare manifold gauge pressure and LGMV data. And if there is a problem with the refrigerant pressure, inspect the outdoor unit for refrigerant leaks. If the refrigerant level is low during heating operation, a CH-151 error may occur. Next, check for refrigerant leaks in the refrigerant piping between the indoor unit and outdoor unit. If there are no leaks in the refrigerant piping, check the indoor unit for leaks. Be sure to check the field flare connections for leaks. After checking indoor unit, check outdoor unit heat exchanger status or fan operation. After inspecting the outdoor heat exchanger and fan operation, Check whether the LGMV data is normal. A CH24 error indicates the high pressure switch is opened. First, check the power. Next, Check the high pressure switch resistance, and if the measured resistance is 0.1 to 0.6 ohms, the switch is functioning normally. Be sure to check the area around the outdoor unit to ensure that there are no environmental factors such as dirty coils, obstructed fans, etc. Next, check the manifold gauge pressure to compare pressure against the LGMV data. Check if pressure actually rises above the high pressure setting of 580 PSIG. If the pressure exceeds 580 PSIG, the fan operation is normal and the coils are clean. The refrigerant charge should be reviewed for overcharge or non-condensables. Installation related error. CH50, 54 errors usually occur at new installations. These errors indicate incorrect power supply to the outdoor unit. The incoming power wiring must be checked. First, check the main disconnect power status. If a CH50 occurs, Check for reversed phase or open phase and check for a problem with the outdoor unit PCB. CH54 usually occurs when the incoming power L1, L2, L3 connection order is incorrect. If one leg of three phase is missing or if there is an issue with the noise filter. If there is no problem with the main disconnect power, check the power supply status of the outdoor unit. Check the output voltage of the noise filter. If there is no problem with the noise filter, reverse the phase and test again. Central controller related error. CH242 error is a data reception error of the central controller and in many cases it is an error between the central controller and indoor-outdoor unit communication device or an error between the ACP and indoor-outdoor unit. Check the communication status on the PC controller or ACP. Check the target of error CH242 on the screen and check the physical address of central controller and physical address of the indoor units.
At this point, if you cannot access ACP, you have to carry out a ping test. Next, check the IP address of the central controller for proper setting. And if there is still a problem, check the communication line and LAN cable to the central controller. Next, after reset of the outdoor unit, check LED communication line and DC power. Finally, perform auto address. If the number of indoor units in LGMV data is the same as the number of units in central controller, the repair is completed. Fan related error. CH105 error is a communication error between a fan PCB and inverter PCB and CH106 error is a fan IPM error. CH67 is a fan lock error. These errors are related to the fan and they usually occur if there is a mechanical problem with the fan or as a result of environmental factors. If a CH105 or CH106 error occurs, first check operation of the fan. If there is nothing obstructing the fan and the fan turns, check power supply status of the noise filter in the outdoor unit. If there is no problem, check resistance of the fan motors. Resistance should be 2.65 ohms plus or minus 5%. If the fan motor resistance is correct, test the fan IPM. Reading should be If readings are outside these ranges, replace the fan IPM.